Yo guys, what's up and I hope you're all doing great. Today I want to talk about the different upcoming asymmetrical horror game and you may already have heard about it, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. So this new asymmetrical horror game is based on the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space from 1988. In my opinion, this game has a lot of potential and I checked on Steam and also on their website and it says it's going to release this year in 2024. So let's hope that this is true and that this game is going to be polished and really really good from day one and hopefully they learn from all the other asymmetrical games that failed like Evil Dead the game or last year and hopefully they won't make the same mistakes. Alright so let's talk about what is Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game. So first let's check out this recent trailer so you guys can get an idea of what this game is about and after that we will dive in more into the details and also some real gameplay footage so make sure to watch the video till the end. Also don't forget to smash the like button and if you don't want to miss any more guides, news and updates on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and also Killer Clowns from Outer Space, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Alright let's go. Oh we got the clowns delivering pizza. <laughs> yeah that's a really iconic scene from the movie. I don't know if you remember that if you if you watch the movie, but that's that's really the the best scene there. All right, so we can see three clowns, uh, different weapons, melee weapon. We got uh, well, some brutality, some action. Okay, let's pause for a second here. <laughs> so we got three clowns. We got different types of weapons, melee weapons like lasers, and the humans can obviously fight back. Ah, uh, we see him swing a baseball bat here. That's crazy. All right, he got some kind of ability there going. Uh, now we see the, the cocoons, the, the candy cotton cocoons. And they're hooked up to some sort of machine, you know. Um, yeah, you can you can actually uh, use a weapon to to make cotton candy out of the, the humans. Hang them up on this machine. That's an escape route right there. Like some sort of boat. Oh, this one has got a, got a dog. That's, that's cool. S to sniff them out, right? Grab something and survive together. Yeah, so there are items and tools around the map, of course, for the uh, for the humans to, to use to fight off the clowns and to try to escape. And this clown is using some sort of uh, telekinetic ability to to uh, draw the, the human into his arms, which makes for an easy kill. And now we now we see a, a finisher move of one of the clowns to kill a human. And this is the tornado. The clowns can kill the humans or they can capture them. Like two different options there. And it looks like here that the clown dies uh, from getting shot to the chest as well. Right, so there are different uh, escape methods and how to beat the clowns and how to escape. That's gonna be really interesting to see. All right, there we go. All right, now let's get more into the details of the game. So the game is gonna be an asymmetrical horror game similar to Texas Chainsaw Massacre in terms of the number of players. It's gonna be a team of three clowns and they are playing against seven humans. So for the clowns, we don't know where they came from, but we do know what they brought. So that's gonna be Jumbo, Spiky, Chubby, Rudy and Shorty. And they all gonna be having uh, different powerful abilities to unlock. Uh, they have different classes and also you can use different weapons as well. So you can use weapons like the popcorn gun, and balloon dog to kill or capture the victims and turn them into something taste like cotton candy for example. And for the humans we're also gonna get five different classes starting with the biker, then we got the cops and then we got the punks and we got the redneck and also the teens. With each class you will get a male and female character to choose from. Uh, I don't know if they will have different abilities but you are definitely gonna have to choose between those different classes and also the humans are gonna get multiple respawns per match which means um, if they die, they can respawn a number of times. I don't know how often exactly, and I don't know how it works, but there will be a way to get back into the match if you die. And playing as the humans will require a bunch of teamwork as well. And you will have to communicate with your team to be able to defeat the clowns. And then let's talk about the items. We will be getting a different amounts of weapons and tools, like bats, shotguns, uh, hamburgers, hammers, so you're gonna get really weird guns and tools to be able to fight back versus the clowns. So we will be playing with a lot of different random and goofy weapons. So that sounds like a lot of fun to me. And then for the maps at release, we will be getting the map straight from the 1988 movie. And the developers also have big plans for the future seasons. So they will probably release new maps, characters, skins and DLC over the course of the next season after the release of the game. So it sounds like they have a good plan here. And now let's talk about this exclusive gameplay material that was filmed off a 
laptop at the Gamescom. I'm gonna put a link to the original video down in the description so you can check it out yourself if you want. I know the quality is kind of bad, but I'm still gonna try to figure out some stuff and to analyze this video with you guys. All right, let's go. So they're starting the game here as one of the clowns, as you can see. All right, so talking about the UI elements here, uh, in the middle of the screen at the bottom, that's your health bar when you're playing with the clowns. But as you can see on the left side, uh, you can click on the, on that. I think that's a mini map and this will teleport you around the map. So once you uncover an area of the map, you can then teleport to that area as you like. So you can pop out of nowhere with the clowns and really, really surprise the humans. And that's really cool to see. Look, he just teleports there. So as long as you have discovered the area of the map already, then you can teleport back and forth as you as you like. And that's really, really strong. All right, so what else can we see? So he's definitely searching for humans right now. And he's using this really cool uh, map view and you can see in real time what's going on. So you can see movement on this map as well. It's like, uh, it's like you're flying in the sky, right? And he's like definitely searching for the humans there. All right, so now he teleported in and he, he finds a human, I believe. And yeah, you can also sprint. And so below the, the health bar, that's maybe that's a stamina bar uh, underneath. So running around the map. And as you can see, the map is like this amusement park. And whenever you shoot with the weapon, there's this bar filling up. And I believe it's the, the cotton candy gun or, or something like that. And when the bar is full, they will turn into cotton candy and then they, they can be captured. So the health of the clown right now has really dropped. He really got beaten up by the humans. So he has to recover his health somehow. I don't know if it regenerates over time, but looks like he got a, a good human in there in the, in the building. So the meter is filling up, right? And he's firing on this human with this cotton candy gun. And it looks like the humans can also make noise and now he lost them oh and there for a second we we just saw like a like a wheel i don't know if that was for emotes or for skills or like a weapon wheel so he teleports down there to find them the clowns actually they i think they can sense like some noises like footsteps or noises coming from the victims to track them down and now he's teleporting again to cut them off And there we see the clown just got beaten. And now he's he's in this like kind of stunned position. So whenever your HP drops to zero as, as a clown, you will get stunned and you will get like frozen in place for a couple of seconds. And after that, you will respawn with full HP again. So the victims can't really kill them, it seems like, uh, in, in this gameplay. So they can stun them. And then you're basically buying time uh, where the clowns can't do anything. And yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of action going on, a lot of fighting. Uh, the humans are fighting back at the clowns. So he's shooting him up with the laser and he's getting beaten up. Looks like by some sort of Leland kind of guy <laughs> with a baseball bat. Look at that. Oh my God, it hurts. He's super low right now. Oh, we, we just saw one turn into cotton candy. Look at that. And, and he got rescued uh, by another human there, actually. So they can rescue each other from those uh, cocoons with, I, I believe they have to have a knife for that. And you can also be saved uh, from the hook once you once you get hooked on this machine. And that's, yeah, so the victims are fighting the, the, the clowns quite a lot. And that's really different uh, compared to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, for example. And it looks like a lot of fun. It's like constant back and forth and action between the clowns and the humans. And yeah, this gameplay looks really cool so far. I know this is uh, still in alpha or beta. It already looks like a fun game, in my opinion. And I can't wait to play all the different clowns and like run around the map and <laughs> turn victims into, I mean, sorry, turn humans into cotton candy. And, and there we can see this machine where you can hook the cotton candy uh, humans and then it will like give some, some win condition to the clowns or some some buffs, I don't know, maybe we'll activate some, some perks as well. 
I don't know what's that gonna do, but I think you can put three or four humans on this hook there. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious what's gonna happen there. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below what's your opinion on this new asymmetrical horror game and are you excited for it? Hopefully it will release this year and I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my little showcase of this game. Go ahead and smash the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more news on the killer clowns from outer space and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I hope you have a great day and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.